Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today I'm going to show you a free sample from our list and bullet point pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so you can download that title by clicking the link in the description below. You'll get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. And then you will get this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the instruction, the GRFX file and the font. Please make sure to install the font, otherwise the title will not work. So select all your font and then you can just double click on it to install them. Then you can simply go to your graphics file and double click on it to start the installation process. It will prompt open DaVinci Resolve with this window. Just click install and now your title are installed. We can then just open a new project and you will be able to find your title by going over to effect, title, just open that video to studio and then here you can simply scroll down to sample where you'll be able to find any title that you may already have from us or you can simply go to title and search directly sample and everything should just come up you'll have that list and bullet point sample that you can then just drag in your timeline right now i'm just gonna close my media pool and extend my inspector to share with you in detail what functionality are available with this title First off, this title I've been created using Anim Curve, so it will work with any frame rate. One quick uh, tip though will be to go over to Playback and here in Render Cache, select Smart or User. Right now I'm just gonna go with User and it will just bring that bar here and whenever that bar is switching from blue to red, that means that the cache has been rendered and you will get real-time playback. Because as you can see, there is quite a lot of things happening on screen and depending on your computer, the performance of the title may vary. Right now, me, I have no issue because I'm running M1 Max, but if you have an older computer, uh, you might need to render the cache. Now, when you extend your title, you will retain the animation in and the animation out. You can choose to have the animation on or off. And then here you can choose the animation length. So right now it's three seconds, but you could reduce it to one second, two second, four second, and five second. Then here you have some control over how many bullet points you want. So right now by default, we have nine, but you could reduce that to four, for example. And now you have only four on screen. Then you have a point spacing control where you can just here increase the space between each point or reduce that space. Here a point animation, individual or group, I'm gonna share with you what it does in a minute, but basically that's gonna be to bring each bullet point one by one whenever you want. I'm gonna share with you that in a second. Then you have the overall size and position parameter that you can adjust for the entire composition. Then we have the bullet point style. So here you can switch between a different kind of bullet point. You have a square, circle, diamond, none, and then for each of those versions, you can choose to have it as a solid or hollow. And then obviously you can adjust the size of that point. So here we could make a small bullet point or you could make bigger ones. We can also change the color here of the point. So here we could switch it, for example, from white to red. Then the next drop down here is add a text. So here you can just disable that header if you don't want it, make any text adjustment that you want. You have also a text background here. By default, it's at zero opacity, but you could bring that at one opacity, adjust the corner to be round, for example, and that just adjusts automatically to the length of your text. So if you add some text, uh, it will just extend that background as well. Then the next drop down is the bullet point text. So here, that's where you can adjust the text for each individual point. You can change the font, the size, the tracking, etc., etc. Then here, as usual, we have the drop shadow that allow you to add a drop shadow behind your text. So here, if I were to bring some footage in our timeline, I could, for example, here simply increase the shadow strength. And as you can see now, we have some shadow behind the text and behind our header that help our list to pop up. We can double click on any parameter to reset them to default. Then here we have the glow that increase the glow of the title. And then we have the perspective that you can adjust on the X, Y and Z axis. And the last parameter, as usual, we have the background that you can bring fully here by going from zero opacity to one and basically having a solid or going in between and having just a layer between the title and your footage. You can also customize here the position of your background and you know move it so it cover only the part of the footage that you want. Then here we could add some feathering to the edges so we don't see a solid edge but it's more of a gradient. 
and by default there is an animation in but you could choose to remove that animation in it's a simple fade in for the background but you could just simply remove that by unticking this box all right so now how to make each bullet point appearing one by one right now if we play it as you can see it's just all appearing at once but what if you want to have the first one appearing from second one to five and then from five to ten you want to have the second one so on and so forth well you can do that with that point animation option i'm just gonna delete the footage behind it so it's not distracting so we can focus only on that so the first thing you want to focus on is having a complete list so choose already how many points you want because it's just going to be easier to structure so here i'm going to stay with four points I'm happy with the overall look and design of that list. And now we're going to make each individual point coming one by one. So I want to make sure that here in animation out, I have off selected. Then here in point animation, I want to select individual. And then I'm going to make my cut to wherever I want the point to come in. So here, my first time will come from zero to five. And then at five seconds, I want my second point to come in. So I'm just going to make a cut here. Then at 10 seconds, I want my third point to come in. So I'm just going to make a cut at 10 seconds. Then my third point, I want it to come at 15 seconds. And then I want my last point to come at 20 seconds. Now I'm going to go to the first one. And here I'm going to select point count at one. Then I'm going to go to my second one. And then point count at two. Then I'm going to go to my third one. And then point count at three. And then here I'm going to go to my fourth one and it's already at four. And here actually I've created a fifth one. We're not going to need it. So I'm just going to delete that. Now I just give it the time to render the cache. And now if we play it, as you can see, we have the first point coming in. Then at five seconds, we have the second point coming into frame. And then at 10 seconds, we have the third point. And then finally, we have the fourth point coming into frame at 15 seconds. And now we don't have any animation out but if we want to have the animation out we can simply select here our last point toggle animation out on and then here switch from individual to group so they all leave the screen at the same time and now if we play it we have all the bullet point leaving the screen and that's pretty much it hope you will find this title helpful again if you want more of those there is a full pack available on our website that contain a bunch of different bullet point list and background for those bullet points let me know in a comment what kind of pack you would like us to make in the future thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one bye speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website including titles transition and templates built only for davinci resolve Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.